Hey guys, well, um, I'm going to do a review on, well, not a review, more like a demo on the, sorry, I keep looking at, I've got this stick in my hands, I'll keep, I'll look at it, it's like right, nearly out. Anyway, it's a, um, demo for Hinks and Moby sort of burgundy, I think, Moby colours or plummy colours for pale skin. Um, these might not all suit you or me, I don't know, I just found them and I've liked them at one point or another, so I assume they suit me, and yeah, this is my, I've still got the mascara on from my previous tutorial, and the Chico one looks like it's faring well, the other one's sort of, you'd probably have to apply it again, so anyway, I'll start with my Ulta, actually Ulta 3. In, oh god, my hands are shaky. My hands are like hell shaky. It's like hot here. It's in um silver pink, and that is the colour on my hand. And here is the colour, obviously. All right. Mhm. Mm that's just like a couple of coats of the colour. I don't know why I stopped using this colour. I kind of do like it. Sorry, I've got two stuff on my face. Um, I like this colour. I don't know if the lighting's too bright or anything, but you can't really see the colour on camera. But it's, as you've seen, it's like a dark colour. Like dark. There we go. You can kind of see it now. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know how to pause my camera and take my stuff off my lips and without having any dignity to it. So, anyway, actually, I'm gonna use this colour again. Um, it was about, was, these are not all under like $5, there's a few that are under $5. Um, this was probably about 3 to $4 maybe, this Ultra 3, it's available at like most chemists, like pharmacies and that. Drugstores, where you buy your prescriptions and stuff, come drugstores. Like, um, sorry, in Australia we've got like Terry Y, um, Problems of Triple Seven. Well, um, I've been to Terry Y, I've seen them there, but I went to Wizard Warehouse Pharmacy, and that's where I got this one in the beginning. Um, like you can see, it's like nearly out, so that's why I stopped using it. I've got a habit to stop. Using them until they're nearly out, chucking them away, not away, away, but like chucking them in my makeup collection or leaving them. Anyway, um, that is number one for pale skin. In reality, it gives like a nice sort of rosy kind of look on your lips. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, sorry, I've got like, mm-hmm. Sorry for doing this on camera. Alright, next one is BYS or Buys. I've got the lipstick and lip gloss duo. See yeah. there? And it's like a lip gloss that side and uh, obviously the lipstick this side. And the lipstick just looks like that. Well, I've only wound up a little bit, but it's got a longer stick. And on Backy hand, it's like pretty. I don't know, can you see that? It's the one under that. Duck. It's the one where below my hand. Finger. Sorry. They look all really bright on camera, but they're not. Like, I swear, last time I used them, they were like hell dark. Well, not hell dark, dark, but. And this one's a shit of a pain if you've got thick, not thick lips, but like bigger lips. Like, you probably use like. Uh, the tube in like one go. <laughs> Just joking, guys, you wouldn't. So, that is the look. Doesn't even look like I'm wearing lipstick. This for me would probably be a nude, I reckon. I don't know. I'm gonna have to adjust the lighting, so. I know I'm like really close to the camera, but I'm just trying to show you the colour. Yeah, it's like a nude for me, so I'll 
Um, yeah, and this was, um, I think $3 or $3.50 at the $2 store. I know, it's like $2 and they're selling the makeup for like 3 bucks. Anyway, um, it's in candy pink, I think. No, sorry. Oh, iced candy, it's in there. And yes, this is a product of Public to People's Republic of China, sorry. Yeah, and it's like two grams. So you get about two grams. I mean, this is last me like forever. Well, not forever, but like in a couple of months, it'll be a year since I've had it, and it's still going. And I use heaps in the beginning. Um, I'll try another layer to see if I can get any dark. It ain't gonna go. I'm gonna have to tone down my lighting. I'm so sorry. It's like oh, it's over there. Now you can sort of see it. Definitely a mood on me. Um, so, I've got that. And the next two coming, sorry, will be an example of the colour, not necessarily the brand. Um, cause, sorry, I'm not moving around, we're going to edit this. Yep. This is the 243 electric watch, or whatever you call it. And it's sort of that brand. These are sort of the next coming colours are going to be sort of maybe you might not want to use, but you can use. But like, yeah, they're really bold. So yeah, this is the electric orchid. It's sort of like that colour, like a mauve, 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 mauve. I'm just apply. Mine's like got this scent in the middle of it, as you can probably see in the light. And it kind of applies really heavily. So, there. It kind of um, gives you a Dita Von Teese feel. And this is why I don't recommend people wear dark colours with tiny lips. Is it really? Really makes it stand out badly. Really, there you go. Alright, that is the 243 electric orchard. Again, it's like this colour right here. Um, oh god, this got shit out. Sorry, it had like dirt or something in it. <laughs> Just joking, um, I had sprays earlier, and yeah. Obviously, the crown is like over there. Joking, joking, oh my god. Sorry, what we got next? Oh yeah, and um, the swords are gonna be. Oh my god, I've gotta moisturize my lips again. Yes, and that's another downside to lipstick, is it dries out your lips. Sorry, this one is a. See, like a. It's brown on camera, but it's like a. Maroney kind of colour. Um, yeah. I used to use this one a lot too, so. Um, oh god. Oh my god. How on earth does this earth suit me? Alright. Mm -hmm. I'll just do this to get the excess bits off. So that one's that. It's on a bit crooked, I know. This one's like a hell drive formula. It was from my gift. The TEW or T U the T E W kit. I quite like it. Mm. If I applied it properly with a lot of care, I'd definitely use it again. Mm -hmm. It's a bit pale on top yet, but yeah, stuff happens. And it's a bit drying, so I probably put like a gloss over it or a balm underneath it. So yeah. And last but not least, okay. Oh god. And definitely, if you're gonna do tutorials, make sure you've got a proper wipe or something. Get the colour right off so it doesn't affect. The colouring of the next lipstick. 
This one I got yesterday. It's a Maybelline think, Color Sensational. And just look at that color. I love that. This is the one that I was going on about yesterday with this kit I got. Um, yeah. I got this with a kit. I can't think what it's called. It's like the night out kit or the dark eyes kit or something. Came with the eyeshadow, this and a mascara. Anyway, I'm going to try this out. Hey, I've been forgetting to do it on the hand. I'm so sorry. Oh well, at least you know what it looks like on pale lips. This probably would be a nude again, a nude. I don't know if it's supposed to have a little, like, it's like got a dent in it. Is that supposed to happen? Or is it because of the new letting someone borrow it? Actually, I have to admit, this is kind of creamy, this colour, the formula in the Colour Sensational. And, <clears throat> what are we going for? 005 said and mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, that's the colours. And my lips. I don't know, I'll have to darken the colour or something. So anyway, that's general colour on my lips. It's probably a nude key, I reckon. And I've got extremely pale skin, so yeah, um well not extremely extremely like white white, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this nude slash Oh yeah, um I thought that was going to be a pinky colour on my lips, but half of them turned out to be kind of moody colour, so I'm going to have to think of a name for this video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next. Love yous.